Okay. Okay. Fountain. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, what we're doing is this is getting more food made and this is getting more food made. We want to see it taken care of. Very good. Do let's see what it says over here. We produce a little more than we eat. And our assets have ridden and we get a four percent unemployment. You know what that means? We're just gonna give it some food. We're gonna grow some food. We want to be able to sell fruit. So we're going to sell, make more fruit and make more wheat.
Okay, now we're gonna make more pigs. Oh, okay. All right, we've got this taken care of. All right, we need to All right, my mom is calling. I gotta answer that, my friends. Good morning. Your small check is bad morning. Huh? It's a very bad morning. What's the matter? I can't see anything. My eyes are all blurry. I've got it in both eyes. <laughs> you got your glasses on? The glasses have got nothing to do with it. I I got that blurry stuff like I had when I had Verigo. When I had the Verigo. I got that. I see all, you know, both eyes have got it. It's very bad. I can't see, I can see bits and pieces at all. Do very. you want to see Dr. Doyle? I can't do that. You got an appointment today. I'm well aware of that. I could try and see if I could cancel it. Well, I can't stay alone and I can't see anything. Well, maybe when you're up a little bit, it'll be okay. Um, I've been up uh, almost an hour. I've been up, uh, I think, I can't. I've been up about 40 minutes. Let me see. Let me close my eyes. No, I see it when I'm clo my eyes are closed. I still see it. When you close your eyes, you're not supposed to see anything but black. That's why I got, I think I got further go. I see it when my eyes are closed. Okay. Yes. I got it in both eyes. Everything's blurry. I can see the tree, but it's all blurred. I can see the TV, but it's all like it was when I had three to go. I don't know how I'm gonna manage. Well, I'll be over there after I get back from my appointment. Well. Well, maybe it'll clear up. I don't know. Let's hope so. Well, I haven't had this since I had vertigo. Well, I'm all packed for the weekend. But I wanted to say is um, your small check is in, not your big check. And I have ordered your tea. Oh. At the moment, I don't give a shit about anything. So it just, I was all right in two minutes. When I was up, I took my shower because I was sweating. And I did my morning bowel movement. No Could you have gotten soap in your eyes? No, shutting our oven. Shutting it. Then. I'm just shutting one eye to see if I can see. It could be no. your glasses. I've got my glasses on. What I'm saying is it could be you need a change. I, I'll take my glasses off. No, it's exactly the same. Okay. What I can see is perfect, but I can only see patches. I got the cartoons on. It didn't happen until after I got out of the shower. No, yeah, I took a shower. I was all right until just now. It came well, on. Well, maybe you got soap in your eyes. I have not got soap in my eyes. I did not wash my hair. And well, I didn't still... my son either any more than I have to. It's just really bad. <laughs> You're gonna have to count the appointment and take me. I can't live like this. I probably need some medicine. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Is it important one well, just tell them what happened? I'll I try can't... and all I can do is try. But I can't even call anybody till eight o'clock. Because nobody's open. 
It's really very bad. And I've already packed, but irregardless, I have to come back tomorrow because I've got to pay your rent. And I gotta take care of your things. Well, right now I gotta take care of myself. I'm very sorry. I know you come first, but it's not like I never first. said that. I don't know why you're being nasty. I'm not being nasty. I'm stating facts. You got a lot more to be worried about. But if it wasn't by my eyes, I wouldn't worry. I'm gonna have to manage on my own. And tomorrow's Saturday. I can't see the damn doctor. Tomorrow's Friday. Today's Thursday. Oh, I can't go 24 hours when I can't. I can. I, I, I told I, you I'll be over there today. I'm very sorry. I'm. Yeah, I understand you're upset and scared. If you remember, when I woke up blind, I couldn't see out of my right eye. I got scared and went down to Doctor J. Right yeah, away. This, this is, I can see, but it's all blurry. Maybe it'll stop, Donna. I think it's from, it could be from the shower. I don't know. Wait a minute. Don't do anything. If it, if it gets worse, we can, I can go tomorrow. No. It, 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 I'm walking around it. See, I'm going to walk into something. All right, I'll, I'll suffer till Friday. You ain't got to. No, Friday. you don't have to suffer. Um, maybe get a little better like you suggested. Yeah, I mean, give it a time because it could be the result of your shower. Maybe you got soap in your eyes when you washed your face. I did not. I did not wash my face in the shower. Why wouldn't you wash your face when you were in the shower? That makes no sense. I, I just, I, it was all right when I took my shower, okay? I didn't take a shower. I sat, um, sat in the bottom just long enough because during the night I woke up soaking wet. Because I had three nightmares during the night while I, I slept on and off. It's the first time I slept at all, the speaker. And I did, I slept pretty damn good. And I didn't have it, so I already walked around and took my first pill. And then all of a sudden it came on terrible. It, it looks like I'm, when I'm walking, it's getting a little bit better. So go ahead and go to the doctor. It could, it may be, it may be just an after effect. I don't doubt it. I mean, well, I probably got water in my face. I don't really know. You go ahead and go. I mean, okay, I'm going to tell you something. You're sure it's Thursday, not? Yes, it's yes, Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday. I'm going to tell you something. Yesterday, I did something scary, and I don't even know how it happened. I was putting toothpaste on my toothbrush, and somehow some of the toothpaste fl slashed splashed into my right eye and that never happened before and I got so scared but I washed carefully got the toothpaste off my out of my eye and so I was fine so even though you don't think you got something in your eye it could be just that because you're gonna have blurriness after getting something in your eye that's natural as far as I know I had nothing in my eyes all right, it looks like it's getting better. It's getting better. You did get something in your eyes, that's all. I, I don't know, but it, I was completely blind on both eyes. I couldn't see a damn thing. It's, it's coming back. I don't have to worry about it. Go and see your... Uh, don't worry about me. Go to your doctor. I'm going to worry about you. It's, it is getting better for the moment, but whether it's going to stay like that. I'm walking around, and, that's, and that started it. Instead of sitting... I couldn't even see the goddamn TV. It was so bad. Let me sit down and see if it, I still got it, but it's nowhere near as bad. And I think it's vertigo because it wouldn't have gone. I still got it some, but it's, it's much better. I can see almost everything. So unless it comes back like it was, I don't have to go to the doctor. I know you don't want to if you don't have to. No. No, I don't. It's not it's not a hundred percent that I can see. After I started walking around it started clearing up. Good. It's quite right. I don't see anything absolutely clear. But the uh you know nobody can explain what you're getting. you couldn't either. Whatever it is. It was circling and you couldn't see anything very, except very faint. 
I wasn't blind. I just, it was just, you couldn't see. Now, it, I sat You down. saw circles? Yeah. And string. That's floaters. That's what I have every day. No, this is like I had when I had Derrico. Derrico. When I lay down, it was awful, but when I got up, it got better. Well, I'm glad you're getting better, because there's nothing the doctor could do for you, but, you know, if you still need it when you get back, I can always call it in and ask her to send you some vertigo medicine. But they won't do that without seeing me, because I haven't had it for a long time. But, but if I you're getting to... better, you don't need it. No, we'll see what happens tomorrow, unless I get worse No, again. we'll see what happens as the day goes by. Keep me yeah. informed. I won't do any reading or anything. Let your eyes rest. Yeah. Well, I got the TV on, but I can at least see. I can see. A, funny, when I started to walk around, it started to clear up. That's odd. No, it's yeah. that gets you your circulation going. I don't know. But that's the way vertigo acted, you know. When I was laying, I, that's why I laid down because. You mean, this is exactly like I had it with vertigo. When I, when I would be in bed, it would come and go. I look away from the bed, and I see somebody or something. Well, that's what it's doing now. And yeah. And I can barely walk without tipping over. But, so that's the vertigo. I've got an attack. And probably get better. Remember, I had one in the doctor's office, okay? Yeah, I know. And this is exactly how it comes suddenly. And they told you to drink more water. Well, I was drinking water this morning. Yes, the, I dr They said I, you didn't weren't drinking enough water, and that's what was caused your problems. And they well, wouldn't let you leave till you sat there and drink six bottles of water, and then it was gone. You felt better. Yeah, that's when you get vertical. So I that's what you need to do. Well, I drank water. I didn't drink it. Yesterday, I didn't drink much because I had my bowels were so goddamn loose. There you go. So you know your problem. You're getting dehydrated. You're low on fluids and causing I, you to have vertigo. So that's no, exactly I, what they did. So now you remembered it. You must remember what the doctor had you do. She wouldn't let you leave. She brought him water bottle at the bottle at the bottle. It said, drink it, drink it, drink it. Yeah, when I have the attack. Yep, so yeah. that's what you need to do. You know well, what you need to do. Well, you know what? I, 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 got, I drink water every morning and yesterday morning. I didn't drink much because I went to the bathroom about nine times. Yeah, it's it no reason not to drink water. Well, I thought it was ne wasn't necessary. So I drank if you got water. If you got loose bottles, you need to drink even more water. Yes, so you don't get dehydrated. So I'm glad we had this talk. You know what to do. Do what they told you. You know I, what to do. I drank it yesterday morning. Drink it I, again I, today. When I was drinking two full bottles, I was okay. There you go. You're not drinking enough. I said I didn't do it yesterday because I kept going to the damn bathroom. Well, you should have drank even more. Well, when I was drinking two full bottles, I'm talking about the... The ones in the fridge. Yeah, the it, water. It was cold water. And I, every morning I was drinking. Yesterday morning I only drank about a half. I got water. I drink it every morning. But not. I didn't do that much yesterday. Mm. I think it's about 90%. I'm so glad it's clearing up. Yeah. Now, you, two, you're paying for not drinking enough. I was drinking tea and everything else. I drank all day. I just didn't drink that much water. Okay, I had a plan that those blue ones, I would drink two full ones in the morning before I did anything. And apparently that was doing it. But yesterday I go th I didn't drink much of it. I drank tea instead. Yeah, I still got plenty. You was wrong. It's definitely vertigo, though. That's what causes it. Yeah, but you know what you're supposed to do when you was at the doctor. Yes. I know. I know but you I don't like water, but you got to do it. In a long, long time. But let me get my little All right, I'll let you go. Bye-bye. Bye.
Sorry about that, people. My mother called. She's upset. She needed me. I'm there for her. And I would gladly cancel my appointments to tend to her because I always put her needs and my kids' needs and the people at the center's needs above my own. And spending time with all of you is just as important. Love all of you. We're playing this game together and we're enjoying it. And we're getting closer and closer to beating this level. Our prosperity is up to 14. And our peace is up to 24. And we've got to get another amphitheater up. Our favor is at 100% people. Isn't that wonderful? Let's see if we can fit in an amphitheater right here. Okay, we're going to get a theater right there. A theater right there. And let's see about another amphitheater. There we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, can't sell fruit. Thought we could. Thought we could. Okay. We're going to get an amphitheater right there. And let's put up a library. What is this little guy need right here? Okay. We're getting there. There is no way to get furniture. Let's see. We're opening this trade route. going to import furniture. That is going to help. Okay. Don't know what's wrong with Neptune. All right. Excellent. Four theaters. We got a library and um, we don't have enough schools anywhere.
Okay. Warehouse. Okay. All right. Neptune needed a party. And we've increased our abilities tenfold. We're getting there. Now we're going to get furniture coming in. We're going to check here again. All right. Our assets has fallen. That's because we did so much building. And we, people are immigrating. Our food levels are low. We produce much more food than we eat. So that's good. We have reported. We have no reported threats. No problems reported. The city's health is almost perfect. Citizens want more libraries. We just did that. All needs are met. Most demands are for better access of entertainment. People idolize you as a god. Okay. That's because I think it was 22 months where Neptune had it. Excellent. School age. Sea health is almost perfect. 30. Our prosperity is up. Okay, let's check and see who needs what. Furniture. Okay. All right, it's time. We've got this beautiful sector right here. It's time to put this city over the top. We got to go one more. All right, we're going to go etching like this. We need to do the plaza right here. And we're going to do this. Entertainment. A lion house. You know what we're about to do, my friends. You know it. A coliseum. Ancient Rome loved their coliseums. And we're going to put an engineering post here and a fire marshal there. And we're going to put a library here. There it is, people. There it is. Our beautiful Colosseum. The fame of ancient Rome. Caesar will be so happy. And I think... We got a large festival. Mercury. Uh, let's see what's going on here. It's not a working coliseum yet. We got 61% paying taxes. I don't know what's wrong with these two. One coliseum. Mm. 
We're working on it. All right. All right. Education. Academy. That's a school. That's a school. Okay, let's put a library near there. Okay. Let's get an academy. Okay, now we're going to put plier. Flyers up. Okay, 15 months. All right. Done. Hundred percent favor. Our assets are gonna fall because we just built the Coliseum. Okay, so let's see what's up here yet. All right. We got three libraries now. We got one academy. Apparently their moods change. All right, we're gonna get a second academy. One down for this end. All right, we've got that done. We read it as it flashed on the board. <laughs> All right, we've got the work in Coliseum. Well done, your citizens are proud to serve you. What was once just a town can truly call itself a city. Now that it has a working coliseum. The building is just done, it is done. We got our coliseum, yeah. Rome ain't Rome without a coliseum. Let's see how entertainment is. Your coliseum needs more spectacles, providing gladiators, lions, if for them to boost local entertainment in the city parts. Well, we've got a gladiator school up and Alliance school. I see there's my lion right there. Got my lion. Okay. I think I got a gladiator school up. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> we got it, my friends. We got it. And we're importing furniture. It's right there. The city is growing. Look at this beautiful city, my friends. Look at it. Oh, we now need barbers. Okay. All right, let's put a barber here. And we'll put a barber here. We'll put a barber there. We'll put a barber there. And we'll put another barber here. Oh yeah, we got barbers. We, once employees move in there, we'll be all set.
Okay, we got two working ca academies, and we got three schools. Excellent. All right, they wanted shave and a haircut, and we gave it to them. Let's see what you can use. Okay. Let's get another school here. There. We are getting everything everywhere our people need it. Okay, let's put a market here. That'll help. And let's put a barber right here. An Emperor's Gratitude. That was nice. Okay. Venus. That section is going to be tough to resolve. Once it gets too long without a festival, it gets, becomes a problem. Okay, well, let's, we're going to cut down that school. And we're going to put a small temple up to Venus. Then we're going to put the school back up. Right next to the library. Okay. Okay. We're working everything out. Okay, they're all happy. We just needed <coughs> to rearrange a couple of little things. And see, now this area is evolving. Oh, we're going to take care of that. You want a barber? You've got a barber. You're on top of a barber.
Okay. Workshop pottery. Okay. We're moving right along. Peace 34, Prosperity 25, Culture 62. Once we hit 2500, we've won this level. Yes, we have. Okay. Plaza. Entertainment Amphitheater. Entertainment Amphitheater. Okay. Caress. <laughs> Workshop. Pottery. Pottery and pottery. There. See over here, we've gotten a lot of clay up ahead and not enough pottery. And our beautiful Venus just lifted our spirits of everybody in our city. We are now a city. We were a little towny, but now we are a city. Let's see what the boats, if they say anything. Bought three, sold six. Okay, wants to sell wood and wants to buy fruit and wheat. All right, here it is. Caesar has been promoted to you to the rank of Questar. And we can continue governing or we will accept a promotion. We will accept promotion. And thank you, everybody, for joining me in this wonderful time as we finished another level in Caesar 3. Victory. Terrico's food exports got the empire through a dark period. We helped them. Citizens owe you their lives and governors their jobs harvests are now returning to normal and i have a new use for your talents right click fifth assignment very dangerous we're not doing that this good time we're going through it we're doing building we'll do the wars next time and the battles and see what we got to do to protect our people and this Miletus is a largely peaceful providence so again we have two choices and we will go to Miletus and on to Miletus and we're going to leave it right here we're going to go to the city we are going to save the game my room and we are going to exit it and thanks for watching and as always the fun never ends and see sparkles corner and thanks for playing with me as always the fun never ends with see sparkles corner feel free to share feel free to subscribe hugs and kisses for my family cheers thanks for watching bye everybody